And this I consider to be the Bible. Adrienne Shad might have never known about her great, great, great aunt. I had never heard of her before. But on a visit to an Ontario museum, she learned about the incredible life of Mary Ann Shad Carey. I was absolutely astounded. Born in 1823 into a family of Delaware abolitionists, Mary Ann Shad Carey's work took her to what is now Windsor, Ontario, not far from the last stop of the Underground Railroad. She opened a school for the children of freedom seekers, became a lawyer, and was the first black woman in North America to publish and edit a newspaper, The Provincial Freeman. She seemed fearless um, in, in her endeavors. Um, she didn't seem to be afraid to criticize you know, black male leaders, white male leaders. Going by her initials to not disclose her gender, she used the paper to talk candidly about slavery and to encourage black immigration to Canada. She is certainly someone whose story needs to be better known. So this is a collection of books. Many of her descendants, like Irene Moore Davis, know the impact Marianne Shad Carey had and hope Canada Post's decision to dedicate a stamp to her relative will help Canadians learn it too. It was unveiled on Tuesday in advance of Black History Month. It means so much pride for our family. Family members who collaborated on it gathered to see the final product in Chatham and to enjoy a rare opportunity to celebrate all together. It's nice to see people and just enjoy the moment and celebrate the iconic Marianne Shad Carey. Celebrating all she accomplished, now recognized for all to see. Meg Roberts, CBC News, Chatham, Ontario.